So at what point do you say it's not worth it to fix? Okay, that's, you understand what she just asked, right? Like that's like asking at what point you pull the plug. Can you <laughs> answer that question? You can't answer that question. Okay, we're back from California. We picked up the car, we've unloaded the car, and now we need to check it out. So we're gonna put it on the lift, see if we can find out what's leaking and what needs to be done. Always a question if an air-cooled car can start. I mean, except Penny Joe. Penny Joe starts every time. This, this is not good. These bushings are toast. So that's in gear. I mean, ugh. it's like stirring soup. Or like mashed potatoes or something. All right, let's try to fire it up. Okay, we'll let the uh, fuel pump prime. Here we go. One, two. Okay, Natasha, start. Uh, I mean, it's good. Absolutely no throttle response. It's, it's gonna need some work. It's gonna need some work. All right, let's get it on the lift though before it dies. Now tell me, tell me what we got, what we got to be looking for. I have no idea. You have the no engine. idea. So we need to figure out why it's leaking. Yeah. So you want to do kind of a visual inspection of everything. So why don't we start in the very front of the car? Okay. So rust, kind of like right out of the gate there. Not end of the world rust. This is the fuel tank. So oh, okay. you definitely want to be aware if it was rusting through. But you can buy a whole new fuel tank. Right in front of this, right here, is the oil cooler. And these kind of get rusted a little bit. I really care about like fittings, stuff like that. So there's definitely some corrosion. Um, the tow hooks are scraped because it spent its time in California. All well, they're crazy dips. So um, I can see the bushings, which are these little things mm -hmm. right here, That's are what toast. Makes it loose. Uh, that's part of it. So right here, this oh. is a ball joint, and uh, that is seen better days. A lot of rust and carnage. The steering tie rods, although they're beat up and rusted, they look like they've been replaced. I would say. Is it okay that they're shoot. rusted? I mean, yeah, cars are gonna rust. This thing spent a bunch of time near the ocean. So, so the salt closer. makes it rust? Yeah, I mean, look at the rotors. They're just, it's just how it is, but it's all good. All that can be fixed. So they did a braided line for the brakes right up here. Definitely replacing the bushings. So okay. that's part of what the car was, why it was struggling so much. This, Concerns me. I mean, what is that? Just unsafe. That's a tetanus shot waiting to happen. <laughs> the oil cooler lines crushed right here. So that's a problem. But same thing can be replaced all that can. I always like really rad hodgepodge wiring like this. So we'll definitely trace that. I'm betting that's the boost gauge and good zip tie <laughs> attachment. <laughs> what is going to go to nothing? Yeah. See how this hose is a different color? Like, does that matter or is that just... So kind of... that is your heat. On an air-cooled Porsche, the oh, heat okay. Okay. comes off of this right here. This is called a heat exchanger. Mm -hmm. And then it flows through those and got these little fans oh. that then blow the heat up to the front of the car. Emission mounts and toast. Yeah, it definitely guards red for that's crazy. See that little right here? Oh, yeah. It was red. This car was absolutely guards red. And don't we see that here too? Like over here? Yep, there's another one right there. Yeah, this car right was red. Right here? Look, right there. Little <laughs> tiny red there. Well, yeah, that shouldn't, no. that's a marker probably. But oh, okay. Leaking from axle shafts a little bit it's more like weepy Ugh. 
It's gross in there. This is what concerns me. Oh no, look, it's about to drip. Okay. Aren't they all really fresh? As in the last two seconds, probably. A little nylon thread. Oh man. This is the hokiest exhaust I've ever seen. Look at this. That's like my welding skill right there. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm not seeing a bunch of body rust from the inside, which is nice. There's more oil there. Like, I have that from there. Yeah. Is that oil stuff? This one in the center. I mean, that is probably engine out to fix, okay? Because these cars have two halves and you can't fix this seal here without the engine coming out. So uh, do we know a guy? Yeah, yeah, we know a guy. This is out of my expertise. You know what that red is? I'm just looking at it right now. I mean, just not to get distracted, but somebody mm -hmm. painted the calipers while they were on the car. Oh. See that? Yeah. That's redonkulous. So does that mean it's not, <laughs> it, it's black or is it guards red? No, that's just that, that you saw on the swing arm, the control oh. arm there. Okay. That's just because somebody painted the calipers. And that's, like, that's like Pep Boys paint. You know what I mean? That's like not that's, the normal way to paint? Uh, no, no, you definitely want to take stuff apart. So, uh, but back to the question at hand, that's some rad wiring right there too. Oh man, there's lots of good stuff. This has got to go down to Corey, Porsche of Salt Lake, and he's going to have to get connected with Randy and make full diagnosis. Cause um, my gut feeling is there's lots of oil leaks and uh, I mean, I can pull a motor out, but I, I, I don't have the skill to fix all that stuff. So. So at what point do you say it's not worth it to fix? Okay. That's, you understand what she just asked, right? Like that's like asking at what point you pull the plug. Can you <laughs> answer that question? You can't answer that question. If, if it's time, if like grandma's getting a little older and you, you're like, what, you just sit down and you're like, ah, it's time, you know, it's not worth fixing. Grandma's got to go. <laughs> Absolutely not. Cars need to be fixed. I wasn't, it can be fixed. I wasn't saying that we should not fix she it. She named it. It's Natasha. Natasha. You literally like, oh, this is not good anymore. So <laughs> get rid of Natasha. That's not how this works, man. Once it becomes family, you get family fixed. So uh, there is a point, just so you know. But uh, but this is not the point? <clears throat> nope. Okay, no, good to know. This, I feel better. We're going to get okay. it fixed. And, I mean, some of the stuff that's just, I mean, the zip tie wiring job, like I don't even, honestly, I don't even know what they're like wiring to. Zip and ties. why you would zip tie to the heater hose like, is beyond me and let the, wiring just like sit on the wastegate. I mean, there's some stuff. Look, there, I like some zip stuff ties. In this. I think zip ties are a very useful invention. I think we should all use zip ties in we our We use lives. zip ties on race cars. We don't, we don't use zip ties. We don't use zip ties on air cool. We don't use zip ties like this. This is not a proper use of zip ties. I am offended. <laughs> leaking from the turbo. Oh. All right, I'm just to tell you what I'm going to do rather than I'm going to collect my thoughts. We'll take it to Porsche of Salt Lake. We'll get Corey to have Randy diagnose. I'm also sorry not to be so distracted. I'm looking at a nail <laughs> in the tire and I can guarantee you this oh, no. nail came from this shop of ours. You think? Because Jose next door in the carpet place leaves nails on the ground all the time. That is evidence right there and I'm going to be bugged about it, but oh, hold on. No. This kind of stuff is not good. That is a nail in the tire. That is not good. Look right here. It had been done before. That's multiple nails. If I were to pull that out, this thing's going to be leaking like crazy. All right, I'm gonna try to stay positive. 
Jeff has to compose himself. We're gonna take this thing down to Porsche and we'll see what they say. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you on the next adventure. Bye.